first upgrade I'm going to do here is to add an IoT relay to the uh, Inventables XCAR Pro. That way I can get my vacuum to kick on automatically. Not really manually, I have to press a button, turn it on and off. So what I have here is quarter inch phono plugs. That will actually let me connect into one of the connectors on the Pro control box. I've got about 10 foot of wire, two different colors there, and then the IoT relay. Uh, which will actually let me do the automatic power. And the way I have VAC set up, I have a DeWalt box here, and then I have a separator, and then I actually have a control switch, like a remote switch that just turns it on, but I want it all automatic. So we're going to try this today. Alright, I'm going to show you guys a trick I learned when I was doing car stereo. I'm going to take these two wires, I don't mind if I crunch those because I can cut those when I'm done. And then I'm going to bring you around over here. Alright, so I'm going to take one of my drills, I'm going to take these wires, and uh, of course I apologize for the mess. We've got too many projects going on at the same time. Make sure these are the same length. So I'm going to put these into my drill. There you go. Now. There we go. Now I've got them nice and twisted up. Okay, next up, I'm going to strip back these wires and get these connected in. We've got this piece here that pulls out. And then one of these two photo plugs out. Pulls out as well. It looks like they are exactly the same. So I'll keep them separate anyways. I'll go ahead and strip these back just a little bit. Twist up these copper. Let's see. Let's see from where we go. Looks like this one. Move some of these up. And it doesn't really matter which color wire you put in which hole. Because they're just a relay on off switch. I'll go ahead and put those in. Tighten up. That one's good and tight. I got blue in there so I don't see any bare copper. Tighten that one up. Alright. Let's get the other side. I normally would use wire strippers for this, but one of my kids has borrowed it. Can't find it, so that's just the nature of having kids. I'm just happy that they like to use tools sometimes. Alright, I'm going to do the same for the other one. Red and blue. Okay. Now I got both of these done. All right, now let's get these installed. All right, so what I've got here is I got the vacuum, which is the old plug for the remote switch. I'm gonna take that out. And then this device has normally off, which is what we want to use, normally on. 
So I'm going to plug the vacuum into the normally off. Turn this on. I'm going to go ahead and plug this into the relay connector. And that's it. That's all it is on this side. Let's go plug it up on the uh, machine side. All right, now the machine side, what we have is we have a mist and flood. And from what I understand, either one of these actually has a relay inside that kicks it on when the machine is turned on. So I'm gonna use mist here. And so this quarter inch phono plug just connects into it. So I've got the connector here, plug it in, and then we'll give it a test, see if it actually works. All right, the next part to set up the vacuum is to go into the easel and go to machine. Got the X Car Pro selected. I'm going to go to edit your machine. We go down here to accessories. We want to edit this. So I want to actually also choose coolant. Save. Now I should have that saved in there. So yeah, touch you coolant Z Pro. So that'll tell it to actually switch on that plug that I just put in. So now, I go to car, I just do a, a fake <coughs> car. Now when I turn this on, it should turn on the vacuum. And Oh, there it goes. The vacuum and the spindle turned off. Alright, the second upgrade I'm going to do has to do with the USB connectors on this uh, control box. So you have a USB C on the back, and you have a USB C on the front. And the way Venables has you do this is actually the USB-C on the back goes down into the controller to a USB-A, a flat connector. And then from the USB connector on the back of this to the front of it, all it is is a pigtail right through it. There's no electronics or anything. It's just a, supposed to be an easier way to connect this device to your computer. So what I'm actually going to do is disconnect both of these. And then I've got this A to A connector, it's got the two flats. I'm actually going to connect it right from the controller into my computer directly. That way it leaves me with this having to have these extra wires on it and I can place it in a more convenient location. So this one's going to be super easy. I'm not even sure why I need to show that. I'm going to disconnect that A cable. I'm going to plug in my cable into here. And then I'm just going to route it over to where my PC is at. So here I'm just going to plug it into my PC. That way I don't have to bring this hole up and over and around. So now I'm connected directly from the PC to the control box.